welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is the founder and pastor of Empowerment Temple, whose ex-wife Giselle you may have seen on The Real Housewives of Potomac. Please welcome the Reverend Dr. Jamal Bryant. Yes! <laughs> Hello, hey. Reverend Doctor. Hello there. Thank you. Hello, it's such How a pleasure to meet you, sir. You. Yes, good morning. Good to see you. Good to good see, see you. Have a seat right here. Have a seat right here. I gotta say right. something about this blazer. Oh, yes. Listen. I could not let you come out here, and the blazer is just amazing. Yes, I like it is. That yes, on it is. You. Thank you. I'm gonna wear it again. <laughs> You're gonna wear it again. <laughs> yes. Get your Thank money's worth. Right. Absolutely. Is it custom? Uh, is it custom made? All right. What do you ask? <laughs> 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 awesome, awesome. Well, let's jump right into it. Of yes. course, uh, your beautiful ex-wife, Giselle yes. Bryant from The Real Housewives of Potomac. Yes. You guys have been divorced for 10 years, but you yes. have found a way to co-parent well. Yes. Yes. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second. But yes. when, when everything took place, how did the church react to you all splitting up? Uh, it was painful. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. uh, for our church, yeah. for our children, mm -hmm. uh, for me. Uh, I pastor young adults, uh, mm -hmm. predominantly 18 to 45. Mm -hmm. uh, so it wasn't just... Um, the fact that you went through a divorce, uh, but that their pastor was the cause of the divorce. Wow, wow. Uh, so it wasn't irreconcilable differences. Mm -hmm. uh, it was infidelity. Okay. Uh, so to have to walk not just uh, your church through it, but your children through mm -hmm. it yeah. uh, was traumatic yeah. Uh, yeah. for everybody. So it was a, a very painful process yeah. all the way around. Yeah. Can yeah. I say something, Reverend, just to insert yes. this? I am so proud of you for just standing up and being honest and yes. taking yes. accountability. That yeah. means so much to me. Well, yes. it, it, it meant a lot uh, mm -hmm. for our church, and yes. I think that's how our church was able to heal yes. and rebound. It wasn't the, the devil did it yeah. or we're under attack. Mm -hmm. or, <laughs> or it's her fault. Yeah. Or it's her fault. Mm -hmm. um, and because of that, strangely, the number of men join our, joining our church oh, increased. Wow. wow, yes, yes, I have to God. say, I respect you more right. yes. uh, for standing up and saying, yes, I operate in a holy office, but I still deal with human frailty. Yes, yeah. thank you, yes. Yeah. Well, let's talk about co-parenting and how you all are successfully co-parenting, what that looks like for you. Yes, it's uh, both Giselle and I mm -hmm. came uh, through whole families. Mm -hmm. uh, my parents have been married for 49 years. I think her parents are married, I think, for 43. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we didn't know the whole notion of a broken home. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, and so uh, we're intentional that uh, we do things together right. as a family. Right. We're divorced, but we're still family. Yes, sure. Uh, right. And so having to navigate that is not any space for the children to pay, play one against another. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, because all of our children are now in middle school. We talk twice a day yes. uh, before the kids uh, go to school and before they go to bed. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's no way that we can navigate uh, around not being in contact. Yes. Uh, because yes. we have all girls. I'm intentional that the girls are able to see how I treat their mother. Yes. Uh, and so I have to, while we are divorced, I still have to date her in front of them. Yes. Uh, yes. So that yes. they know how mom is supposed to be treated. And it's not just what they ought to expect when they grow up, but whatever man comes into Giselle's life mm -hmm. yes, yes. has to reach the standard of how their father treats Come on, her. Pastor. Uh, and I, I think that that value. Uh, really means a whole lot. It's yes. not what you say, but it's what you do. Yes, yes I love that. I love that. And what you're doing in your church is amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have most of your congregation, they're millennials. Yes. And you do a lot on social media. Why yes. do you think they connect so closely with you? I, I think it's because of my transparency mm -hmm. and my humanity. Mm -hmm. I have a, mm -hmm. a doctorate degree and a GED. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so I'm able to operate out of both prisms of yes. who they are. Yes, yes, yes. So it's not uh, just the Cosby show, it's good time. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So on any <laughs> given day, you're going to get all of that uh, on a Sunday of the full black experience of both our greatest highs and our worst lows. Man, yeah. man. And, yeah. and recently you yeah. posted a picture with some, some Jumpman 23s and 90s. Yes, yes. So first of all, <laughs> how, how can I get some? Yes. <laughs> but, but secondly, why was it so important for you to, to, to post that? And then how do you think that resonates not only your congregation, but just folks out there in, in social media? Here's what's amazing. All summer I did a series called Getting Out of the Red. Mm. And the red means uh, ridiculous economic decisions. Mm. That everybody has made some bad economic decisions, mm -hmm. but how do we get out of them? 
And I think it's a poor report of the church if the only time we talk about money is if we talk about tithing. Mm. But we don't talk about investing, saving, home equity, mm -hmm. uh, and all entrepreneurship. So at the end of the summer, I'm thinking I'm, I'm finished with the series. September yeah. comes, I'm on to something else. Right. Uh, and then Nike comes out and endorses yes. Colin Kaepernick. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and, uh, I and so initially I said, let's just do Nike Sunday. Yes. Uh, everybody wear Nikes uh, on Sunday. And then an epiphany came on me. It's not enough just to wear the shoes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's have everybody buy Nike stock. So I bought all the black mm -hmm. brokers from my mm -hmm. church. Uh, and in between services, I told uh, mothers, don't buy your son another pair of Jordans. Buy him stock oh, uh, so that he has some understanding good. of what's taking place. Right. Nike heard about what we did uh, and mailed me those shoes. Wow. Yeah, I don't want them to mail me shoes. I want them to mail me a seat <laughs> at the board. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'll give you the shoes yeah, if yeah. they give me the stock. Yes. But that's the backstory as to how that happened. My goodness. I love that. Ain't that I good? That's real good. That's real good. Mm -hmm. Pastor, thank you so much thank yes. you. Uh, for taking a stand for, and, and being a leader. I need to make sure I follow you on, online because I need to listen to some of your you stuff online. You have to. Or come must. down to the church as well. Do both. Absolutely. Yes. And make sure you follow him, of course, on all of his social networks.